Hey, welcome, Tyler Lubbin at Visual Intelligence, and today we're gonna to be talking about the top 10 Tableau dashboard tips. Now, dashboards are kind of what it's all about, right? So we create our worksheets and then we put in the dashboards and hopefully you're giving the dashboards to the end user. Uh, so these are my 10 tips um, that I recommend doing on every single dashboard just to make sure that the dashboard is user friendly um, and also visually appealing for the end user because like I said, this is gonna be the last thing the client sees. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that, that it's, it's as best as it can be. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna format and resize our dashboard. Um, so I have a, a kind of pre-built uh, Tableau workbook that I'm already working on, and I just opened up a new dashboard, and I'm gonna resize it. Uh, I usually go with a 1300 by 900, um, but this can be um, something you know that you can play around with, but this is kind of my go-to. All right, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and um, change my formatting. So I'm gonna do a, a shading for my background. I'm gonna add some, some dashboard title shading as well. I'm gonna make my dashboard title shading white. I'm gonna add a border around my uh, dashboard title. And I'm gonna add a, a little bit of, uh, of weight to it. And I'm gonna make this a little bit darker. Um, now you can, uh, of course, pick all type of different colors. Uh, pick colors that are, are best suited for your company or for whatever company you're working on. Uh, this is just kind of my, my go-to. All right, so I'm gonna add uh, uh, my worksheet titles to be white as well. And you can change your font and all that. Uh, and you can do all that here as well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of that. And I'm gonna then hit this checkbox to show my dashboard title. And I'm gonna just make it a little bit larger. I'm gonna double click in here and I'm going to go ahead and center this. So I have my dashboard title here. I'm actually gonna make this a little bit larger as well. So I'm gonna add this and make it about a 26. All right, so you just kind of play with this and do it how you like. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna to want to do is going to, to add my logo. So I'm gonna to go to images and I'm gonna pick a logo and I'm gonna grab that logo and I'm gonna hold shift to hover it and change it from tile to floating. And I'm gonna float my logo on the top left over here. All right, so I got my logo. So I'm, I'm branding it uh, to my company. Uh, I'm now going to start adding worksheets. And when you add worksheets, you should always use a container. All right, so horizontal containers, you, should, you put things left to right of each other. Vertical containers, you stack things on top of each other. All right, so I'm gonna first uh, go ahead and just bring my uh, field map out. I'm just gonna stack this right on top uh, and it's gonna take up all this space. Next thing I'm gonna do is grab a horizontal container and put it at the very bottom of my dashboard. And I'm doing that because I'm gonna be stacking or be um, placing uh, two worksheets right next to each other. So I'm gonna grab my area chart and put it in my horizontal container. And then I'm gonna grab my pie chart and put it on the right of that. All right, so now both of these are in my horizontal container. So from here, I'm just gonna uh, shift things around a little bit and give my area chart a little more room. And you'll see that my fit now is kind of messed up over here. All right, so now I kind of uh, go through, make sure my fit looks good. Only one is messed up is right here. So I'm gonna go to the more options and go to fit and do a fit entire view so that I can fit uh, my pie chart with the, the working space that I have. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, update my tooltip some. So I'm only gonna do one just so you can get an example. So I'm gonna go into my uh, my actual map and I'm gonna go to tooltip and you'll see that I have kind of my standard tooltip here. All right, and uh, right now we're only looking at United States, so I really don't need country in there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this like a sentence format. So I'm gonna say in and it's gonna say the state. So it's gonna be like in Washington. Uh, and then I'm gonna erase this and I'm gonna put it there. In Washington, there are blank amount uh, of customers. All right, and I'm gonna preview this. And in Alabama, there are one cust of customers. So that doesn't sound right, so there's one customer. All right, in Alabama, there's one customer. And I'm just gonna wrap this around with parentheses just in case this is not plural. Uh, so in Alabama, there are one customer. All right, um, so from here, I can then highlight this and make this another color if I want. So let's say I wanna make this uh, my blue color. 
So I'm going to highlight both of these because these are going to be changing. And whenever um, it changes, it's going to change to, it's going to change um, to be my blue color. So what I mean by that is, is whenever like I change a state, you see Colorado, Wyoming, 1, 23, et cetera, all those are going to be this blue color. And that's just to signify that those are going to be, um, those are going to be dynamic and changing. All right. So I, I, it looks like my coloring is a little bit messed up. So I'm going to go in here and edit this and just to make sure I got the right color throughout. All right. So I'm going to grab this and I'm going to change this to the light gray as well. All right. So now it looks good. Okay, so from here I can change my tooltips. Uh, once we just change coloring and, and add sentence, but we can make it a little bit larger if we want. Uh, but there's a lot of things you can do in tooltips. So go ahead and spice up your tooltips some as well. All right, so let's go back to our dashboard. And the next thing we want to do is add a filter action. Now there are three different action types. Uh, there's filter, highlight, and URL. Um, you're probably going to use filter 80% of the time, so that's the one I'm going to show you. All right, so we're going to do filter action, and I'm just going to call this map to all. And only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say whenever I click something on my map, it's going to filter my area chart and my pie chart on select. Hit OK, hit OK. And then whenever I hit Texas, it's going to filter uh, my pie chart and my area chart. Whenever I hit South Carolina, it does the same thing. All right, so now I'm adding some interactivity. The next thing I want to do is I want to float my legends um, in the appropriate area and to save some room. So for instance, this customer count, I have my legend over here. I'm going to hold shift and I'm just going to float it over here. I have segment over here, um, and the segment actually goes with both. Uh, so I can either put it um, next to one or the other. Uh, I have more empty space right here, so I'm going to float it over here. And then I'm going to resize it some so it goes across and kind of just play with the sizing a little bit. All right, so now I have my segment here. So I'm floating this, these two. I don't need this one. This is for my pie chart, uh, so I'm going to delete that one. All right, now we're going to add our quick filters um, in my dashboard. They, they popped up already for me, um, and they're popped up in a, a vertical container, which is perfect. So I'm going to grab my vertical container, and I'm going to put it next to my map. Now you'll see that um, this is all in a container as well, and, that's, and, and it's kind of tricky. I mean, you got to kind of play with these containers some. So what I'm going to do is grab my dashboard title and move that all the way to the top and just kind of resize this so that I have my vertical container next to my map. All right, from here, I'm going to add a text box in my vertical container, and I'm just going to call this filters, and I'm going to size it and center it. All right, and I'm going to kind of reposition things, and I'm starting to create my filter panel. All right, from here, I'm going to format this, um, and I'm going to make it a, a, a white background. So I'm going to go to background, go to white, and I'm going to add a little border around this as well. All right. So now I have my filters, uh, my filter panel started, my filters in here. I'm just going to make these a multiple value drop down to save some room. Um, but of course you can do whatever you want. Uh, so I have my filters in my filter panel, uh, which I usually put on, on the right-hand side uh, over here. And depending on how many there is, I either just do the top half or the entire you know, right side. All right, next I want to add a information icon that I can put some data um, or some, some information about this dashboard or like a data dictionary or some notes um, or explain some you know, calculations. So you can put whatever you want in there. And I want to hover it kind of right over here in this corner. All right, so I'm going to build this for you so you can see how it works. Um, I just created a, uh, a, a new calculated field and I'm going to call it icon. Um, just because that's what it's going to be. And I'm just going to do uh, just two um, quotation marks just so it's blank and hit OK. Uh, and then I'm going to go find it. And I'm just going to drop that onto rows. Uh, from here, I'm going to change this to shapes. And I'm going to go to shape more shapes and I'm going to find a custom icon that I imported. Now if you don't know how to do this, uh, just Google how to add custom uh, custom shapes to Tableau and it'll be pretty easy. All right, now this is going to be a, just a white uh, qu a quotation mark right here and I'm going to use that uh, for my, my icon. So I'm going to hit OK. 
I'm gonna then format this worksheet and make the background a light blue. Uh, I'm gonna then remove my row dividers and I'm gonna remove this uh, show header right here, okay? So now what I want to happen is whenever somebody hovers over it, it's gonna have some information. So here is, this is where you put the information. All right, so you put your information here. And whenever somebody hovers, they'll see that information. Like I said, it can be notes, it can be equations, uh, it can be whatever you want. All right, so we'll go to dashboard and let's go ahead and add this to our dashboard. So we got our icon and I'm gonna hover it over here. I'm gonna hide the title and I'm gonna fit this to fit entire view and resize it. And I'm just gonna float my icon right over here in this top corner. All right, so then whenever somebody hovers, they'll see that information that you put over here, which is really handy. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna add a header summary. So it's usually good to have some type of summary info. Um, I just literally just added the, the this profit, quantity, and sales just in a text table. And I'm gonna hover that on the header as well. All right, no, no reason to waste all this space up here. So I'm gonna do fit with, hide the title and resize it so that it's going to fit in my uh, in my header box up here and I'm going to float it right over here and you just kind of play with uh, the positioning all right so then whenever I'm filtering different things uh, all of this information is, is changing as well as as my header okay all right, so that is my top 10 tips. Uh, use layout containers when you're putting uh, the worksheets together. And uh, this will you know, make it a lot easier for you as you're adding new things. Um, add a filter and parameter uh, panel, which is what we did here. And we can add different uh, filters as well as parameters in here so it's all nice and organized. Uh, make sure you, you adjust your fit like we did here where we uh, made this fit entire width. Uh, so we got rid of that scroll bar. Uh, add an information icon to give any of any information to your end user that you want to deliver such as a data dictionary some type of notes um, any type of explanations of how to use the dashboard maybe um, add a, a header summary um, like I said this is some empty space that you use usually don't use so go ahead and put some important summary data at the top uh, make sure you add your logo or your clients logo to give it a, a polished look uh, as well as formatting the dashboard um, changing the colors, changing the font, adding borders, uh, making it really clean and, and making it you know specific to your client. Um, you also can uh, format the tooltips like we did here to make it more uh, user friendly uh, for your end user. Uh, add interactivity to your dashboard um, by using filter actions. You can also use you know highlighting URL, but definitely I use at least use a filter action. Um, and then to save some space, uh, float any type of, of legends that you deem appropriate uh, near the the correct uh, visualization that you have. All right, so those are the top ten ones that I use on every single dashboard um, and I, I hope that they you know at least help you clean up and and create some some visually appealing dashboards for your end user all right so now I have a free guide at the bottom um, here that you can download uh, just click the link and you can uh, get a, a all my top 10 uh, dashboard tips and a little PDF that you can take away and, and kind of look at whenever you need to all right well that's it for this video I'll see you later